How many times have you had people tell you that there must be an afterlife, or a god, or something equally as unsupported, because science has found there's all these different dimensions. Not only that, there's parallel realities. There's realities beyond what we witness, what we understand as reality. We see, hear, sense a very limited spectrum, and therefore what's beyond could be. Dark matter, we don't fully understand. Dark matter, dark energy, what could be there? Surely the afterlife, surely God, surely the supernatural, the things we don't fully understand, the things we don't fully know. We're going to place our God in those gaps. And that's precisely what you do. You find something that you and I and some of the best scientists in the world cannot fully explain. You then simply assert an idea as being within that particular gap or perceived gap. You then say, what you have is something that's true, something that has some kind of scientific backing, when in actuality it has nothing. Oh, and by the way, throwing in a few scientific terms does not make your work scientific. Using words like quantum to promote spiritual healing does not make your spiritual healing scientific. It doesn't make it true. And just because you say there's quantum singularities, leaps and particles, which are making it work, does not mean that's the case. You have no evidence. You simply misuse a word. When people hijack scientific language and they use it out of context, poorly, without an understanding of its true meaning. They're basically projecting word salad to support a belief. Something they have faith in, and that is not science. The commonplace method is to use both techniques. You use the idea of science, knowing something which must surely fit into our belief. So we're simply going to assert our ideas into that scientific perspective. And not only that, we're also going to take scientific language and dress up our beliefs as if they're scientific and the credulous, those who perhaps would not know any better, they will accept it as being at least somewhat scientific. And hey, if that doesn't work, why don't we throw in something a bit more interesting? like an amateur test with poor controls that doesn't really prove anything. And then we can say, because we've got the right sounding language, because we hijack some ideas from science, and because we've done a kind of test, surely our belief must be confirmed. We have science to back our belief. It must be true, it sounds like science, it looks like science, it agrees with science. And we even have tests to back it up. It's testable, reliable, dependable, and true. And yet, all you really have is the illusion of science. Uh, it had to do with subtle energies.